This year, the anti-tobacco lobby tried to cut $30 million, which would help South Carolina's small farmers. Ed Young wasn't even on the floor for the vote. Instead, he and Earl Butts have gone hand in hand to make agricultural policy that works against small farmers. Big tobacco, oil, and fertilizer companies are making the record-breaking profits, while the PD small farmers are going out of business. John Jenrette wants to turn around farm policy in Washington. The record proves we need John Jenrette in Congress. After the people of the PD work all their lives, pay taxes and social security, they deserve a life of dignity when they retire. John Jenrett knows that fixed incomes and inflation don't mix. Ed Young apparently doesn't care. He was one of 20 congressmen who voted against a needed increase in social security benefits. It's hard to imagine the PD's 60,000 senior citizens voting for a man who votes against them. John Jenrett's vote is for the people. We need John Jenrett in Congress. John Jenred sees a lot of reasons why people are spending more today and getting less. When Ed Young votes against efforts to roll back fuel prices and high interest rates, the people suffer. When Ed Young supports inflationary economics, which allow big business profits to go up 15 times faster than American wages, it's clear where his interests lie. When John Jenred is elected to Congress, his interest and his vote will be for the people, against inflation. The record proves we need John Jenred in Congress. In some areas of the PD, there is one doctor to care for more than 3,000 people. The life expectancy is the lowest in the nation. John Jenrette refuses to stand by. I'm going to do something about health care for the people in the 6th District. I support the second medical school, and I believe it's absolutely necessary that we have a regional health care center here in the PD. Ed Young has voted against better health care time and time again. We need John Jenrette in Congress. If a child in the PD wants to build sandcastles, John Jenrette thinks we should help him. Because his dreams are the future of the PD. John knows that the best we can offer him is good schooling. Ed Young has consistently voted down appropriations to improve our children's chances for good schooling and dreams come true. His votes lay impossible tax burdens on local homeowners and small businessmen. John Jenrette has children of his own. When he gets to Congress, he'll vote for them and the PD's future.